Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. And today we're going to go over uh, budget phones in general. But first, make sure you read the damn description below. There's uh, links in there to all the stuff we use, like the Impulse selfie stick with the cool remote, and uh, the nifty fill light on the front here, and uh, the Zedio tripod, which I can use with the DJI Osmo, and if I ever feel really good again, I will start using that and testing it. Um, and of course, the Mi A2, and if you're a masochist, the Mi A3. Right now, I'm saying don't buy the damn thing. By the phone I talked about in the previous video. Let's get to that right after the intro. Coming up. All right, folks, first off, we're, I'm back. Let's go over what constitutes a budget phone. Zero to $300 is budget. You will hear some of these high-end reviewers talking about a phone. You can get this in the budget price range for only $550. That ain't the budget price range, folks. It ends at $300. $300 to $600 it is the mid-range, uh, which is why I would never recommend anything in that range. Even a $301, we're done. Not going to recommend it to you. Yeah, you know, $250. It's still good budget, 280 even. But if you're going over that, you're in mid-range territory, and you're probably looking for better cameras than you'd need. Uh, and then 600 to 900 is what should be flagship and high-end, and then 900 and above is reserved for people who must have the latest and greatest. We won't judge them. So, uh, that's the basics. Now, what do you look for in a budget phone? First and foremost, don't buy anything with one of them gimmicks known as an in-screen fingerprint reader. It's a gimmick. They have to put something on these new high-end phones to make it seem like they did some engineering stuff. They're not as reliable. They get dirty. You're putting your finger in the same place every time, time after time after time it's going to develop a fingerprint and get dirty and now you got to clean it uh, horrible idea make sure it's got the little capacitive touch uh, fingerprint reader on the back that way when you pick it up your hand will be like this because you're going to leave it laying face down you should make sure you put a case on it right away and uh, once you've done that and, and it has a little lip around it You'll be able to pick it up, touch it, and by the time you've turned it over, I don't care if it takes a second and a half. It's going to take you that long to turn it over, but it's going to work 100 out of 100 times. It's going to be convenient to your finger. It's just the in-screen fingerprint reader is a gimmick. Number two, cameras. Okay, don't fall for this crap that you have to have the latest and greatest cameras, folks. I'm gonna give you a news flash here. You ain't John Ford, you ain't in Monument Valley, and you ain't directing John Wayne, so you don't need these cameras. You know, the high-end reviewers, the MKBHDs, the Blue from Med Unbox Therapy, the ASBYTs, there's a lot of guys out there who would lead you to believe you must have. The cameras are so fantastic. Really? If they were that good on the Mi or the S20, why is it the worst selling phone that Samsung has ever released, the entire line as a whole? It's just, they can't give them away. Could it be the price? Yeah. Could it be that the cameras really aren't that much better than last year's? Oh, yeah. Could it be that people have finally realized, I don't need to upgrade what I got right now. It works. I'll keep it for two or three years. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's starting to backfire. Folks are not willing to be raped and dragged over the coals, paying $1,400 to 
for a phone that costs three hundred dollars to make anymore. You know, a little profit is fine, but they shot themselves in the foot by overcharging the whole S twenty line, and then they put the gimmicky end screen, and then they put a two D unlock on it. Folks, I'm going to tell you, last time, do not use face unlock unless it's an Apple, unless it's a uh, uh, the new Galaxy Pixel Four, or Maybe you decided to run out and dive in and pay the ridiculous price and get the uh, P40 uh, Huawei, which is not going to have Google services. <sighs> so you probably don't really want it. But they managed to cut a little pill in theirs, and you turn it like this once and, you know, activate, and it has a laser scan, an infrared one. It's secure. Unlike all the others where your buddy can snap your picture, as long as he gets a good one, he can hold it up in front of your phone, which you left thinking was secure, and go click, and your face unlocks the phone. Because it's 2D. It's about as secure as putting up a big straw wall in front of your house and going, come on, enemy army. Go ahead, you gangsters. Come get me. You'll never get past that. Yeah, it's it's just stupid. So that's that. Number two, cameras. You know, you don't need the best. There are some really good cameras you can get on these lower end ones. Unfortunately, the Mi A3, which I can't recommend to anyone, comes with them. Except you don't know when the phone's going to cease to work again because they used binned parts in there. Uh, for their micro SD card readers. It's obvious. I take the same SD cards and put them in any other phone, they work fine. And when I format them, they don't say a word about slow SD card reader. They're buying binned parts. They're giving you parts that didn't pass the test and that they got for cheaper. I don't have any proof of this, but it's pretty damn obvious when in their last two, the Redmi Note 8 and this phone, both have the same issue. With a, a micro SD that is U3, V30, you know, class 10, everything. It's it, it, it's about as fast a SD card as you can get. I went out and got the fastest thing. Oh, your micro SD oh, cord is slow. No, it's not. Your hardware is garbage. And then every time I fire the Mi A3 up, SD card is missing. Really? And it's there when I, it's finally booted up. Is that an issue? doesn't happen on any other phones I've ever owned. When you rotate the screen, yeah. It does not rotate. The screen stays put. What? Yeah. doesn't happen on any other phone. So... In the last video, I talked about a very good phone. And as a matter of fact, if you check the links below, that phone is still linked. I'm still recommending it. Apparently, no one cares. But at 220 bucks, and I got them in stock now on Amazon. If you ordered today, you'd have it Sunday on Prime. And if you don't have a Prime account, you can get a free 30-day trial. Sign up. You'll have the damn phone Sunday morning. It's got really good cameras. It's highly recommended by I went through and watched a few videos. It gets good reviews. Oh, they're the best in the world. Yeah, sure, the nitpicky ass guys who review high end phones. You gotta remember these reviewers who have a lot of phones and they get them two weeks in advance, they have a contract that tells them exactly what to say, when to say it, and how to describe said phone. And, and some of these guys, like, you know, God bless his heart, but my Project 13, he gets all gushy over the in-screen fingerprint reader. It's the worst gimmick on earth. It's the stupidest idea ever. And, and then 
you'll hear lies from people like, you can't drill through glass. It's like, really, get in the front. You're going to hold through the damn actual display. Yes, you can drill through glass. God, a load of crap. So don't fall for that stuff. Get a camera that has decent camera specs and make sure you get micro SD card expansion. And if you buy it from anyone but Xiaomi, I mean, I'm at a point now that once they get the Xiaomi fixed, my recommendation to the world is going to be do not buy Xiaomi products. They're cutting corners. And, you know, a year ago, you wouldn't have got me to recommend a Huawei, but the, the Huawei phone is very good. No one watched that last video. 13 views. Come on, folks. Watch it. Learn. It's a very good phone. It looks damn good. I did all your shopping for you. I showed you where to get the case. You know, which case to get and how good, you know, the Berinke, uh Fusion X case is an excellent case. And you can still see your pretty back through it. And uh, on the front, you can get a Skinomi skin. Kind of the most counterintuitive skins ever to put on, but you just watch and so your shopping's been done. What's the deal? Watch the damn video. That was a mid-range phone. It's now 220 bucks. It's a freaking steal at 250. And if you don't like the blue color, you can get it in white, I think. But you're now starting to creep up near 250. I know the whole thing we do here is recommend phones that are good but cheap. We don't ever push phones that people don't need. You won't see that happen here. You know, somebody handed me a Dell XPS 13 and says, it's yours, keep it. Okay, I might do a quick unbox on it, and then I would say, yeah, I wouldn't buy this thing at the current price. I wouldn't buy this at half the price because there are better laptops and out there at less. They're not better, but they're less. And they'll get the job done. So the whole idea is to get the job done. That's what we promote here. So make sure you please, I'll leave those links for that uh, P30 from Huawei, the light version. Oh, we'll leave it there. And uh, say thanks for watching. And please, watch that video. And consider buying that phone. That is the phone. If somebody would check those links below, everyone sent me a dollar. Just a dollar. Because right now, folks, I have, I believe, 87 cents to get me through till unemployment kicks in. I'm so broke, I can't afford to pay attention. I'm running out of data. That won't get fixed and, uh, for a while. Um, until the 9th. So... We're between a rock and a hard place. I am going to upload this, though, at 1080p. So, all that being said, I will see you in the next one, hopefully soon. Uh, we will upload this at 1080, 30 frames a second. This was shot on the Mi A2, uh, which is still excellent bang for the buck. If you can find one... Uh, but you're limited on storage. In fact, I'm running out very quickly. I'm down to 10 gigabytes free. And the reason I bought the Mi A3 and the Redmi Note 8, they had expandable storage, which doesn't work. Because they used binned parts. Thanks, Xiaomi. So, I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure to like, share this video with everyone you know. You can't believe it was just a single share out to Twitter does if you've got a lot of followers um, and Facebook if you must uh, or if you have it so that's all I got so we're going to get this up onto the web ASAP we'll check you in the next one